Hi guys, today we are talking about Ecomi, ecomi.com. You'll find the link in the description box below. The crowd sale is now open. It's open till the 30th of September. I think you're going to want to probably buy into this. It is a very difficult video to condense down below 20 minutes. It's going to be another over 20 minute video. The reason for that is there's so much to talk about. There's so many different things going on with this ICO. It's massive. So bear with the video because if you're looking to buy into this, you're going to want an in-depth review before you spend your money. And let's get into it. By the way, keep your eyes out for a pretty big all-star team member, okay? Pretty big all-star team member. Let's get straight into it. Baseball cards, coins, action figures. These are collectibles, minted, limited edition, and one of a kind. But collectibles have evolved. These aren't just your grandpa's stamp collection anymore. Collectibles are a $200 billion market, changing trends and adapting constantly. And just like your cassette collection in the 90s, collectibles are about to go digital. Introducing Ecomi, a digital assets ecosystem that brings authenticity and immutability to collectibles on the blockchain. Collectibles and distributed ledger technology have already flirted in the past, but with Ecomi, we're working with major licenses and brands to build a marketplace of recognizable characters and properties. Users can trade, buy, or sell digital collectibles across all borders, as well as interact with them through exciting applications. And the Ecomi ecosystem isn't just about digital collectibles. It integrates every other aspect of the cryptocurrency world. With Ecomi Secure Wallet, you can protect many types of cryptocurrency, and unlike web or app-based wallets, this one never connects to the internet, eliminating the risk of malware or theft of private keys. Built on top of the Secure Wallet technology, the Ecomi One Card lets you securely store and spend both fiat and cryptocurrencies around the globe. Last but not least, Ecomi Vault, an unbreachable data manager you can use to protect your sensitive information, important images, videos, and files, only accessible by pressing the physical button on the secure wallet. These collective applications are maintained and paid for with the OMI token, which is an essential part of the Ecomi system. Users can either pay a fee in OMI tokens to access features within the network, or aid the network by staking a required minimum amount of OMI tokens in exchange for premium access to Ecomi services. Ecomi is pioneering the digital asset ownership frontier, and we want everyone to be a part of it. Check out our website and detailed videos on all our products, and become one of the early adopters of the Ecomi platform today. Introducing Ecomi Collect a platform for licensed digital collectibles with real-world ownership. Browse, purchase, trade, and collect your favorite digital collectibles. How do I start collecting? Easy. First, I download the Ecomi app. I then find a collectible I want to make my own. I need some OMI tokens to buy the collectible. I complete the purchase and become the new owner. All my collectibles are kept in my showroom. I can share my collection with friends and on social, and even bring them to life with augmented reality. I store the ownership of my collectibles on my secure wallet, which keeps my valuable digital collectibles safe from cyber criminals. Collectibles are poised to enter the digital realm, and Ecomi Collect is leading the way. For the first time ever, people can legitimately own a digital asset. But wait, how can someone own a digital file? The answer? Blockchain. Blockchain is a historical ledger that records all activity of a digital asset, such as its creation, sale, transfer or purchase. Because blockchain is autonomous and decentralized, it cannot be manipulated or corrupted. This ensures the highest level of accuracy for ownership rights, reporting, and counterfeit protection.
once we've established what the project is and how it fits on the blockchain, we go straight to the team next and let's start digging around and seeing what we've got. I've already spotted in this team massive all-star. Can you see him? That is the question. I'll give you a clue. Do, 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 do. Follow the cursor. <laughs> this guy right here. Let's go and take a look at him straight away because he's drawn my attention straight off the bat. Here is a pretty much absolute king of all stars really on a team. Ikomi welcomes the man behind Pokemon <laughs> as the head of licensing. So uh, you may not know him, but Alfred Arkan is has had an enormous influence on many people's lives as the licensing executive. Khan has spent more than 30 years distributing and promoting iconic brands such as Cabbage Patch Kids. I remember those, they're pretty cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yu-Gi-Oh! Huge. He's also credited for marketing and licensing programs for other iconic brands such as Mario Brothers, Zelda, Donkey Kong, James Bond, WWF, Polly Pocket and more. The true highlight of Khan's career is that he is responsible for bringing Pokemon to the world. Khan is the one who persuaded the company behind Pocket Masters card and Game Boy games to bring the franchise out of Japan and introduce it to the world, renamed as Pokemon. Coming back to the team, let's have a look at the CEO. David Dewey is 21 years in licensing and collectibles, serial entrepreneur, mainly based out of New Zealand by the looks of it. He's uh, established Games R Us Limited in New Zealand, transformed Star Wars and Star Trek memorabilia, as well as various vintage toys, comics, into an entertainment hobby store for fellow collectors. Popping over to his LinkedIn, we can see basically the history of what he's been doing down here, which is... You know, really what you want to do if you're going to be investing in ICO is look at what guys have been doing in the past. And obviously we can look down here, we can see the Games R Us reference. That was 1997. It's still current. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Today, Games R Us maintains multiple licenses and intellectual property. Some of the world's most popular gaming rights. So that's really interesting. There's actually a website there where you can go and check them out. Yeah, previous in a retail group so he spent a long time in the industry which is what I like to see CTI is the next guy I'm going to be wanting to look at I love planning and building meaningful solutions to problems of all types my strong interests include startup software development security electronics blah 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 so previous history before Ecomi technical lead blockchain advisory department KPMG Taiwan Worked six months in developing smart contracts for the private Ethereum blockchain network. It's good. Software engineer for six months prior to that. Design user stories, front end proof of concept, MVP wireframes, develop front end client using React, Redux, Redux, so it's such as it's just good. So yeah, you've got another solid team member there. You can see here the product product offering summary. Comey intends to release a range of products across a number of areas, including ownership, storage, spending, protection, and privacy. The initial Comey product offerings are projected to include a secure wallet, which is completed, Comey One, Comey App, Comey Vault, Comey Collect. So there's quite a few. Varying different things, as I said at the start of the video. Let's look at the wallet. This is one of the things I'm most pumped about, about the project. Um, it is designed to be impenetrable to malicious cyber attacks since it never connects directly to the internet. So it's basically, you're going to be able to tap this thing onto an Apple or an Android smartphone. It's using encrypted wireless Bluetooth connection. Interaction with the secure wallet is made via the Ecomi app. This comfortable and familiar use of the app technology makes secure wallet one of the most friendly hardware devices available. And it looks pretty, pretty good. I mean, and this thing's going to fit into my wallet, which is even better. So, I mean, you scroll down here and 
you know, how it works. Users will pair the secure wallet with an Android Apple smartphone. First time users will create a new wallet and generate a recovery seed once set up. It's going to support Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash and Ripple uh, with more currencies coming in the future. And we'll just scroll down here. This is the sort of the, the comparison against the, the Trezor, the Nano, Keep Key. Albeit the secure wallet is the most expensive, doesn't support as many tokens as the others yet, but it will do. I mean, in the future, they're planning to support ERC20 tokens, NEO, um, all sorts of stuff. Cardano. Can you imagine Cardano on this? Rather than storing it on the Daedalus wallet. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to have to ask him about that. But, yeah, it's it's open platform, cold wallet. It's one-time password, mobile app. It's portable, it's wireless, Bitcoin ATM compatible. It's the only one that's Bitcoin ATM compatible. Now, I've got Bitcoin AP ATMs in London, and they are pretty cool. So I'm, I'm really, really interested in this wallet. I just, it's just a little bit expensive. One of my biggest uh, fears about the wallet was what happens if it gets lost or even worse, you get robbed at knife point, someone steals your wallet, they've got access to your cryptocurrency, haven't they? No. Um, this, if you lose it, it's, it's pretty much backed up. You're going to have a recovery seed. You're then going to be able to order basically another card and use that recovery seed. So... That's, I'm really glad that they've actually thought about what happens if you lose it or it gets stolen. Let's get into the one card right here. Um, this is going to be your crypto sort of debit card, really, that they're talking about. You're going to be able to walk into a shop and spend crypto on regular items in a shop in the future. But, of course, you're going to need to have mass adoption because the shops are going to have to have the correct readers to read the card, I would imagine. Uh, and this is something I'm going to have to clear up with the team in a Skype interview later on this month. You're going to be able to basically spend your crypto and then the merchant will receive the fiat currency. So it's an interesting concept. It's a concept I've seen come up many times in different other, in other different projects particularly Bankera being one, and now Bankera are saying they need a banking license to actually make this operational. So I don't know how Ecomi are going to go around this and what their plan is to get this operational. So it's going to be really interesting to speak to them because, you know, Pundi X have got uh, a rolling out a card and card readers. So that's going to be an interesting one and something that I'm definitely going to want to talk to them about. Because in the white paper doesn't really give you a ma you know a massive amount of let's have a look at the app uh, at the heart of the Ecomi ecosystem will be the Ecomi app where users will be able to access all the Ecomi services and features from one central location initially Ecomi intends to obtain the necessary licensing rights uh, to develop apps and create guidelines for development so Moving on to the Ecomi Vault. This project is huge, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is going to allow you to store all types of data, passwords, credit cards, all that sort of thing. Similar to Google Drive and Dropbox. Difference with this is going to use blockchain technology. What does blockchain technology do? It's able to add a timestamp. So if you add anything to the secure vault, you're going to get timestamps on blockchain. So what you could do, a use case, is that you get a very famous singer or songwriter that writes the next number one hit. Now, before that songwriter sends it off to the recording studio to get a deal, they can upload this to the vault. It gets timestamped, it goes on the blockchain. They now have a proof of ownership of the song. So if the recording studio suddenly releases that song and then denies all knowledge of the writer ever sending it to them, the writer has got proof on the blockchain that he created that song. Moving on to Ecomi Collect. So this is our like sort of crypto kitties, 
collection of breedable unique digital cats, which in some cases sold uh, for over $200,000 each. Jesus. People have an innate desire to own things that aren't scarce and desired by others. That's exactly what Ecomi Collect offers. Licensed, one-off or limited digital products with variable ownership. The emergence of digital collectibles uh, is on the up, basically. It's a $200 billion market. So this app is going to cover that also. And this is something that you would have seen, I believe, Supo Man talking about. He said, you, he definitely said in one of his videos, you know, to get crypto mass adoption, you're looking for games that pay out in crypto, which we're going to be covering later this month. You're looking at something like crypto kitties to come back. Well, boom, hallelujah, here you are. You're going to have a collectible app. And it's not just going to be these sort of unrecognizable characters. They're going to get licensing. They've got the guy from Pokemon working as the licensing off, you know, in, in charge of licensing. So you can imagine the types of characters that are going to be coming to this app. So this, this is pretty, pretty good. And I'm really glad that I met the guy, one of the guys. Next stop, roadmap. Now this is pretty, it's, it's not the Gucci roadmaps that I'm used to seeing, but it's pretty well organized. You can see through here, we're looking at quarter four through Comey Vault MVP. Secure wallet wholesale distribution quarter four of this year. So going all the way up to 2019. The Comey Collect gaming release quarter four 2019. That's going to be pretty huge. This is a coin that you're really going to want to hodl for that. And the Ecomi Collect Gaming MVP quarter three. So these are the things that you really want to put in your diary if you're buying into this and you're hodling these. So they're running a five year funding breakdown, which goes down here and I'll, what I really like to see is, is sales marketing. I love to see a good allocation of marketing for it and they've done it for every single project. 40% marketing for the vault, which is very, very good. It's just, this is a well, well thought out project. And only a hard cap of 22.125 million. 22 million for what we're looking at here. One, two, three, four. Plus you've got the, yeah, collect. So you're looking at four massive projects. Four massive projects. 22 million dollars. It's all they're looking to raise. That is not a lot of money. And I think that is... <sighs> You know, that is pretty damn good. Just scroll down a little bit because I want to see the overview. So they're looking at creating a billion tokens. I don't actually have a problem with that. You know, a billion tokens normally is too much for me. But this is going to be a global app that could be, you know, potentially hugely popular with collectors kids that are using the the guy you know the collecting part of the side of it you know you've also got people that are going to want to be using it to spend or stake so a billion tokens for a worldwide app don't really have a problem with the to they're selling half of them you know 500 500 million tokens uh, are being sold for a hard cap of 22 million. It's only a soft cap of 5 million. To be honest, I think they're going to hit the hard cap pretty quick. And they're 5 cents each. So, yeah. There's a private sale. 37.5 million. Pre-sale. 100 million. There's going to be a 40% and a 30%. Ah, but we've got a lock-up lock lock up period. 30, 60, 90 days. 
So I like I like to see if you're going to get bonuses over twenty percent. I like to see that there's going to be a lockup period, which is good. Crowd sell again. This is all not looking too bad for what they're actually looking to achieve. And they're going to set to Ethereum into their ICO and. Well, we'll get on to whether I invest or not in a second. So, quite a lot to talk about, eh? Well, for me, I love the project. This is a project I spoke to one of the team members. I met him in London personally. We spoke about a few projects that are going on that he's involved in. This is one that I I would like to get into. This is one that I, if the team are watching, I want to get a pre-sale allocation. I know crowd sales going on. I want some pre-sale allocation in there. So if you can get that for me, get in contact. I'm going to speak to one of your team on the phone this week anyway and see if I can get into investing in this because I love it. If everything goes to plan on the roadmap and everything that I've seen on the white paper, I, I can't give this anything less than a 10 out of 10. These tokens you can be able to spend on another ICO that's coming out in September, which is a game which is linked to the guy that I spoke to in London. So that's worth knowing. I'm going to be interviewing him on Skype. So the only way you're going to know that that's happening is that you get into the subscribe button down below and give it a good old smash up. Make sure that bell's on so you know I'm coming online. And yeah, I hope you like the in-depth review. Until next time.